everybody welcome back to the studio I know it's been quite some time since my last project uh, but there's been a lot going on in my life and uh, I definitely need to do this now even though I still don't have time but I need to do it now so what I have I will tell you a little bits and pieces while I'm working but for now let me just tell you what I did here years ago um, Oh well, not just years, years ago, many times whenever I'm feeling like I need uh, a bit of a lift up and I need, you know, some positivity and some strength and healing, physical or emotional or mental or whatever, I always draw or paint dragonflies and I swear dragonfly painting or painting dragonflies saved my life years and years ago. Um, so I did this a few nights ago, just, um, just with a colored pencil, did a little sketch and I started working on it already and I thought I'm just going to put the camera on and, and see how I go with, with this one. Um, so I'm using some gems. These are like gold nuggets, not real, of course, uh, don't think I'll be putting them in a painting. <laughs> anyway, I've got some crushed mirror here. I've got some nice beads, um, iridescent beads. Everything I have here, I have in the, in the shop. If you want to get some for yourself. Um, um, then over here, I've got my snowflake iridescent um, flitter flakes or poly flakes. And over the top of all of this, I've just sprinkled some iridescent crushed glass. So there's not a lot. Like I could have covered the whole wing with these beads, but I find that I'm using too much. And if anybody wants to do this project, you know, I'm just trying to find ways that you can sort of save. Um, but these beads, they are quite transparent, although they have their the iridescence about them so it's best not to have anything underneath any color because it'll pick up on that color and you might lose the iridescence so i just left that as it was and i'm picking up a little bit of that golden um sort of wing underneath there and i still get the iridescence so i'm happy with that and here just to soften it so let's just do the other side now the black is the black crushed glass so it's always a good idea to put a little blob of um, glue there any kind of glue just to make sure it sort of stays there and doesn't move especially with these working with these beads they fly everywhere so I like to put a little bit of um, glue that's just PVA glue but you can put any glue you want in there and then I just sort of bunch it up like that I think I've got a bit too much of it now. Ah! So that's my eyes. Or my dragonfly eyes. Big black eyes. And I can always add more, but it's better to go less to start with. And then I didn't put the glue on this side. And I didn't put the glue up here because it's sort of heavy and it sort of sits there all by itself and around here I sprinkled some diamond dust crushed glass just like this with my fingers because I want to um, show that that is the body that goes like that and then the wings this is the back of the or the top side of the dragonfly so the wings are coming from here um, there's a lot of texture there and you can actually I just wanted to make sure that I've got that I might add some more some more of the crushed glass here and just do just a little bit over but I want to be able to still see that gold because dragonfly wings are pretty transparent all right so I've got that there just back in here and let's do this side now let's just brush this one as i use a little brush to kind of give it a bit of a shape 
and because these gold nuggets are so big you can really see all the gaps in between them so this little uh, diamond dust crushed glass is great because it sort of goes in those cracks and it works well so just a little tidy up I can always deal with this a little bit later and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around with the um, just some mixed resin and just drizzle over the top to, to make sure that that sits like that and then tomorrow I'll continue so let's do this side I might put some glue on I don't need a lot it's just so that things kind of stick I'm just using my finger very roughly I just want to go to the edge because the edges are important I'm using my finger it's just PVA glue nothing bad do you like my little stamps? My grandson Riker gave me a couple of stamps because I was a good girl. So there we go. Right, wipe that finger. Now let's go around with some of my crushed mirror. I need to go grab some more because I've got quite a bit over here. So I'll go get them. Okay. A few more. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with the background. But I think I want to make it nice and simple because I want to make sure that uh, this pretty little guy is um, featured in here. So then I just go around. I'm being careful because this crushed mirror is quite sharp. It's not like these beads, which are glass as well, but they are really smooth and polished, so you're not going to hurt yourself with that. But these guys, you can if you're being a bit rough. So that's, that's why I'm doing it this way, being careful. So I'm selling my house, well actually it sold yesterday, but uh, it's cooling off period and and um, procedure that will, will um, sort of go on for about seven, eight or six or seven or whatever, eight weeks. And then uh, I'm out of here into uh, a new location. And you know what, I really love this place. But, unfortunately, I had to sell up and go. And uh, just uh, opening up another chapter of my life, I suppose. But I'm still going to do the work, of course. That's not going to stop. Um, so I've got a moving sale going on now. 30% off. And if I forget to put up the actual code what it is I'll tell you now it's move m o v e 21 two one so move 21 is the code put it in at the end of the you know checkout when you're at checkout and just before you pay you put in that code and you get your 30 percent off how cool is that because I'm going to be closed for a couple of weeks, a few weeks maybe. So be sure to, if you're desperate and you can't wait, um, you know, make sure that you find my um, distributors in America and Canada. You can order Lorraine's from there. So I'm just going around with just this crushed, iridescent crushed glass, which is much, much finer than this. And just to give it that extra dimension and some more iridescence. And I think I've done it on this side. Yep, I have, and I've done it here as well. I can always add more. I always add more, but you can't take away a side. Now this side here, I can't really brush it now because I've got glue there. Duh. But I can just go around with this bead now. See how it's not flying. If I was to do that on 
a surface which has no um, glue on it I'd have beads everywhere and now I'm just going to use it like this with my fingers or my my stick oops needs more see what I mean although this wasn't a full giant it was only like about half full so I'll spread it like that try and make a shape similar to here which wasn't nothing wasn't anything fancy but it doesn't really matter it does not really matter because it's still going to be iridescent like that one there a bit more Trying to bring some down here, so I've got a bit of a shape going on. Okay, whoops, stick it back. So that's that, and now I'm going to go around and just sprinkle my snowflake flitter. And then I'm just going to go around and spread it. Some are bigger, some smaller, doesn't matter. <clears throat> doesn't matter at all. Ah, don't want it to jump. They're very jumpy. Okay, a bit more. Then I go around with my little brush and bring everything together nicely so i've done that now i'm going to get my glass and sprinkle everywhere so this is iridescent as well so it works well and it also helps to push this flitter down a little bit and keep it down I think that's that. Yep. Oh, we've got to do something about the legs. Probably glitter. Probably glitter. Okay, brush. And so I'm just going to go around and brush this. This is pretty boring, so I'm going to sort of pause this here and then come back when it's all neat and tidy. I just realized that I wasn't all the way down here. But I've kind of this swing looking a little bit different. But they don't have to be exactly the same. But as long as they're kind of similar, that's important. Because this was just like a sketch. Nothing. Nothing fancy, you know. But I do need to go all the way in here with this guy. And I think I'm getting pretty close. I think I might need another nugget here. See if I can find a smaller nugget. Next, I found a smaller nugget. Just pop it in here. It fits perfect. Look at that. Or maybe another little one. Over here. Yeah. That's it. Oh, and down here I need to do something. I might do the same as I do for my my um arms here you can't see the legs because they're like in front so unless I put a couple of them coming out here but it, you know they'll be up here I don't know might leave it like that I could even do it without uh, the arms um I don't know what do you think go without the arms Ugh, I might have to think about that one. Okay, so I think I will go with the arms, but I want to, what I want to do is get some glue in there. Get in there. I want to make sure that I stick. 
this and here. This is going to be very interesting. Could even just draw this bit rather than do anything. And then there would be another because the, the, the um, legs and arms sort of come from way up here in the body. So I might just go like, like this. See how it looks. Because that would go in there. You won't see it. You might just see. And then they go like, like that and then down. Should I do it? Goes like that. It goes down like that, like that. I'm not going to do the bottom. I'm just going to do the top. I don't want to muck it up. So now that I've done that, what to do? What to do? Okay, so I've decided to go with the actual ultra fine glitter. I need it to be really small uh, I've got some gel medium here do not need a lot uh, so I'm going to mix my hologram holographic um, glitter into my gel medium and then I'm going to put it in a little piping bag, which I'm going to make out of paper. So I want quite a bit of it. Being very careful because this is very, very fine. And so it's going to go a little bit opaque with this. I want it to turn into a nice paste. But once uh, it sort of clears, I could, have ev I could have even used the PVA glue, which I might add a little bit because it's a bit thinner than the gel medium but gel medium is going to give me a little bit of texture sorry um yeah a bit of texture see, see that look gray now not worried because once it's it dries it'll dry clear i'm going to make some more just in case i want to draw some more stuff to it um yeah so once it's it dries clear you'll be able to see this beautiful iridescence so i'm just going back in and I know that I am double dipping, but it doesn't matter with the powder or glitter because it just sticks to that glue. And then that, that is that. But I need it to be... I need to have quite a bit of it in there. Maybe even a bit more. It's hard to tell how much you've got in there because you can't see it. Everything's sort of looking great. Okay, let me get a piece of paper or plastic or anything like that. All right, so I've got paper here. I'm going to make a little, little piping bag with this paper. If you've got a little, little bag or whatever, little baggie, you can use that. And then cut the, the end of it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use this. Oh, I need sticky tape. Hold on. Okay, so I've taped it here. So it's not moving. And then I like to tape the tip as well. Just to make sure that that is really not going anywhere. And I've done it wrong straight away. What the hell? Yeah, get it right. Where's that? Okay, there. Because I've, I've gone too far down. Okay. I just like to have it. This is how I should have done it on an angle. And then I can cut it there and then it'll be fine. Right. So now that is nice and secure as well. Now I can cut this bit. Like so. Now I can put my, see I don't need a lot, I can make it even smaller, make it a bit easier for me to use. Okay, here we go. I don't have a lot, like I said, I'm only going to make a couple of little legs. And I'll use this to pop it in there. Or a spoon, woo, that was so lucky. That was so lucky. 
take a lot of risks here, don't I? Here we go. Let's go be careful it doesn't start coming out that hole, but it won't because it is already thick. Now, push it down like this. Bit of force, and then I'm going to push it down this way. I've got to fold it over here, guys. I don't want to make a mistake and drip everywhere. That will not be good at all. When I see that it's starting to come out, I'll stop. Here we go. So what I'm going to do now is, I don't need those there. I'm just going to wipe it. It's not going to be a problem to wipe off. It's only glue. See, coming off, but it's just going to be too much there. So I'll just clean this bit up, and I'll come back to you. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's okay. Righto, let's go. Let's start with this big one first. We'll start over here. Look at that. This gives you a nice, more controlled. Oh, I might have to flip it. I can't work sometimes back to front. I've got to be careful I don't lose my gems. Let's start here. Go all the way here. So that's pretty good. And I can always go over it again to make it a bit fatter. There. And here. And then this one here. Oh. Right, fix this one here. Looks like an elbow. Looks like it's got muscle, this one. Right, that's good. And never like perfect. No, what did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Oh my gosh, I did do something wrong. Alrighty, clean up time. I'm definitely not with it. Okay, let's fix this one. That and then like that. Is that right? Better. A bit better. Still not the same. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's flip her over again. Like that. And then do this leg. And from there over here, this is a leg, so it's got to be a little bit thicker. And this one can go sort of there, and you don't see the rest. There's probably another one down here. And this one you can't see. And let's do the tip of the tail as well. Okay. There we go. That is done. Oh, I better fix the eyes. Get down there. Yeah, nice circle. sticking because I've got yeah serious how do I get it out of there now I know 
Where's that glue? Yeah, look at that. I like it. I like it. Right. So that is that. Okay. That'll do. I'm going to let that um, sit like that. I'm not going to be touching that. But I will be mixing some resin now and uh, securing this area here. So I don't need a lot at all. Okay, so what I have here is just a little sample that Platinum Resin has sent me. A little sample uh, of a new resin. It's called Platinum Art Classes. I don't know if it's available yet. Um, I got it a couple few weeks ago and uh, sometimes I get these from, from Des who is the creator behind all of these resins that he makes um, just to try them out and see what I think and I'm really chuffed that he trusts me in my opinion uh, specially formulated to use by professional resin artists when conducting classes um, one to one ratio perfectly clear non-toxic non-toxic that's always a good thing and you measure it you you sort of mix it in by weight and fully dries in four hours but it dries to touch in one hour so one hour is dry but fully set in four hours how cool is that so let's put in i'm only going to put in like maybe 30 so 15 of each 9 10 12 13 we're gonna need a lot of resin just need to seal this in like glue it in all right 14 all right clean stirring stick and we're gonna stir it for a couple of minutes and then we'll be back okay there it is it's beautifully mixed I am gonna it is a little bit on a thicker side I love that but I want it a little bit thinner for this uh, and plus it's a little bit cool in this studio so maybe that's why it's it's going to be thick but I'm going to heat it up a little bit to to uh, mellow it down a bit okay there we go That's great. And now I'm just going to drizzle it around just to maybe even from up high because I want it to not go everywhere. To make sure that doesn't move. And I can kind of just add some more. Ooh, I think that's a bit much came out of there. I'll try to fix it. Not going to be a problem. It's just I didn't really want it there that much. I'm going to get another coat of resin done over the top anyway. I just wanted to kind of sit on there. Okay, so we're back the next day. I'm still in my pajamas. I was here uh, yesterday, a couple of hours after this, after after I've done this, and it was rock solid. So, very very happy with um, with the performance of that resin. So, but I, you know, I, I couldn't couldn't finish it yesterday. I was um, busy doing something else. I just wanted to check real quickly. So, what I'm doing now is I'm just building. Just adding some more of this crushed mirror and just building the wings. I figured I think I need to, to have it a little bit raised so it looks a little bit more natural. And um, yeah, just adding 
some more beads and there's a few spots that I've missed so I'm going to pop some in there and then I'm going to go over it with resin and then uh, these are really amazing these flitters now I'm kicking myself for not going all the way but I might actually add some more just going along here and have it on the top of that so I might just do that actually um, alrighty so I might mute this and just carry on I forgot to say that I went around because I had some of that um, pigment left and I went around and did the edges as well but I think I might do the edges with gold I think it looks a bit odd so I might just do that with the gold actually okay I've got some molten gold this is how molten gold used to be before the manufacturer decided to change it into a paste but um, used to come into clumps but it's the the best color to match this golden nugget so that's what I'm going to use to do is just get a little bit of water in here I haven't got any water in here so I'm just going to put a couple of drops of metho in here methylated spirits or alcohol water will work with this because this is um, it's like a powder it's not doesn't have any epoxy in it so it's working well to working really great I hate it when the um, manufacturers decide to change things you know why change it if it works it works really really well well it worked really well look at that how nice is that gold well, I've saved myself one little jar because I can use it with my acrylics or you know resin okay that's that now I'm going to get a little brush and just paint it on and it all dries up because it had methylated spirits in there I had water in there and uh, would still be okay but I really love that gold and it's matching perfectly very rarely you can match a gold like that I better go clean my brush okay so now I'm gonna work on the background and um, I'm doing things back to front or back to brunt it's just <laughs> I seem to do that a lot anyway I'm gonna play with it so background should be done first and then you put in your but of course I didn't know what I was doing at the time and I started drawing so I've got these little um, little spoons and I'm gonna grab some of this lovely um, gold pigment and oh the spoon almost fits in this bottle but not quite but anyway it's better than nothing I can always get a little bit of paper make a little funnel that would work as well but I'm just going to pour in some of this molten gold powder and then all right so that'll do me and then I'm going to get some of my methylated spirits pop it, pop it in there or alcohol so metho works well and immediately that color changes I mean it just becomes such a beautiful gold I'm gonna put in some more I want it to be pretty watery so that's just metho methylated spirits or you can put alcohol in it and that will do me so I just need a little bit of it and I'm going to pop in the lid or this nib and don't need the lid and just give it a good stir good shaky shaky and that's that's done for that one. Oh, a little bit might have to shake it for a little bit longer because it's got some little granules in there 
and I don't want it to block up my my little hole here it's hard to, to see now but we're getting it and I've got some pink from before same deal powder and some actually put the lid on it and some methylated spirits I think I in here I have water as well half water half methylated spirits I just want to create a little bit of background nice and easy and I'm looking at the colors and picking up from here so I've got the pink there's a bit of purple there there's a bit of blue as well so I might grab a blue okay so I've made these months ago and the um, pigment obviously will drop to the bottom so I just have to give it a, a little shake and some of them need to shake a bit longer so I've got a little green this one is iridescent lime green and this one is a turquoise blue uh, Lares powder pigment with some methylated spirits I haven't marked these ones um, so that's that so now we're gonna go for it everywhere I've got my my hair dryer ready just have to make sure I put all my stuff out of the way because the hair dryer is gonna blow everything everywhere so let's just go I might go with the blue up here first so just a few drops like that now we're gonna go in with pink which will kind of turn some of them in to purple It's actually not a blue, it's more of a turquoise. See, it's getting a bit jammed, but that's all right. Some down here. And we're going to play like this. Put a bit of green down here. Got a lot of greenage. Maybe some there, one there. And now we're going to merge and blend in together. it look really cool now we're going to go in with my metho and that's all I'm going to do I'm just going to make it really wet it's not a bad thing because it's going to tighten up my canvas even better this is methylated spirits I've got ventilation here so I'm not worried about the, the smell you can do these with water as well so it's going to look pretty messy but once I put the gold in it's going to look great and I'm going to tone it down quite a bit I'll blue up here and you know what it doesn't work I can always wipe it off and just leave it as a, like a stain which is what we're doing more green Creating something like what I did here on this piece of canvas, something like that with different colors, obviously. To be honest, I forgot how I did that, so let's just go see what happens now. Good idea is to wet the canvas first before you start doing this. Um, I think of these things as I go. So I'm going to mute this because this is going to be a process and quite fun for me to do. So I'm just going to keep on dabbing this and wetting everything. Maybe even get a bit of a little brush so I can get into the bits, the parts that I can't get to. nice maybe I could push it out because I don't really want it. that okay. pretty cool how fun is this all right let's do this one now you guys you don't have to put methylated spirits down I just don't have any water here and I'm too lazy to go and get water 
so that's why I'm I'm just I've got metho and it's it just needs to be wet to get this and then we're going to give it a white wash so to dull down the the background but we want this guy to stand out so you can see him but I need to make a make a dramatic uh, right now so that's why I'm, I'm just explain you don't have to use methylated spirit water will do just got to get it wet and I've got both of my sliding doors open and I've got an air conditioner running so I've got I've got um, I've got air here so I'm not choking on this on this metho or getting drunk on it so I'm doing one area at a time just making sure that that is wet should have wet the canvas first but you know I tend to do things back to brunt and now the gold see how the gold is separated already uh, which is not bad because I've got that nice bit of alcohol coming through there and I'm using my my uh, airbrush for this works perfect for me okay so doing one side at a time just adding some more uh, pigments uh, and then blowing it with the uh, airbrush and then I decided to take off that tape and just uh, blow over the edge which worked out really great but I had some it just looked like sort of like drips so then I went around and added some more of the pigment on the edges okay I blew all my flakes off off the wings but I can always fix that so she's looking pretty good I love this background but I want to make sure that it's toned down a bit my hands are all messy um, I've got to make sure to close these lids because there's methylated spirits in there and it'll, it'll evaporate and then I'll just have a dry mush in there which is not what I want where's the there it is okay so I can keep them there for later um white wash which is just like watered down or toned down white paint or pigment I'm going to use I think I'm going to use, oopsie, um, what am I going to use? I'm going to use satin white. Okay, so before I do my white wash, I went outside and made sure I sprayed this whole thing with some clear spray varnish because uh, I wanted to, all the colors and everything to set in there. Um, if I waited a few days, it would be like this nothing well something comes off but you know not as much I could do a whitewash over that wouldn't be a problem but this is still pretty raw and if the canvas is not properly dry so I'll let it dry for a bit pardon me and I'll come back okay let's create a whitewash so I've got some white satin here so water would be fine, but as we know, too lazy to go get water, so I'm just going to put some metho in there. Metho will help too to disperse all these colours, make it look interesting. So here we go. Ooh, that is lovely. And there's a, there was a little bit of gold on the on the actual spoon which made it a really interesting color so here we go um, my brush is here just got my this is an alcohol wipe and I'm just gonna dab it everywhere I 
might even get my brush. See how that toned it down beautifully. I'm going to get my um, my airbrush. There you go. So I used the actual uh, empty bottle to disperse this gold. Like that. I'm going to use <clears throat> some of this gold now. Just go around here. Just very lightly fix some areas. Add a little bit more character to them. And down here. And now we're going to let that dry as well, nicely. I might use my air brush just a little bit more. Good, good, good. Okay, so I've mixed my resin. I'm just going to drizzle some. This is a platinum art coat. It's quite a thick resin, and I know it looks quite milky here, and that's because it's uh, it's full of bubbles. But the bubbles um, will disperse all by themselves because, you know, it's a self-gassing resin, which is great. But we will help it a little bit with the heat gun. I just want to put some resin over these wings and then add some more um, glitz to it. While that's happening, let's get our beautiful flakes. Actually, I might just torch it a little bit. You can see that flame up. That's because I've got that uh, metho there still. And I just realized that I've got plenty there. So I've got better get rid of some of that. And hopefully I didn't ruin my my brush. Okay. Uh, flakes. There's more flakes over here. That's looking pretty good. And we will add <coughs> some more of the crushed glass as well as the beads great and i will add some i just yeah being a bit glamorous now adding some more of the iridescent crushed glass And then we're going to add the rest of the resin. And that is so glitzy and shiny and shimmery, but not over the top. It's, it's not like when you use just glitter. You know, this is so much more special, I think. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to pour some. And I like how they are sort of in the background now. The the arms and legs are kind of in the background now, which is nice. Now just to spread it 
all the way up to the edge. I love working with the thick resin because it just, you know, it stays put, which is what we want. I might just get an actual silicone brush to clean this. What a fun project. Love it. Love, love, love it. Get the silicone brush, always helps. Here we go. She is done. Look at that gold. The background turned out a bit darker than what I wanted, but I think that it really suits. It really suits the um, the dragonfly. So what do you think? Let me know. Really like it. What a, a nice calming and healing project this was. So thank you for being with me. And uh, I'll see you again in another video. Hopefully soon. Bye.